Hello friends, my name is Ike Nojebe from Easy Click to Excellence in Midwifery. Our channel hopes to equip community of students for excellence in midwifery. It will be beneficial to nursing and midwifery students, other medical students and healthcare professionals. It also broadens the knowledge of people who want to know more about women, mothers and children, medical and physiological conditions they experience and how to care for them. So, if you are new here and you want to enjoy the ride with us, subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, so that when we release a new video, you will be the first to see it. We appreciate you for watching our videos and subscribing. Today, we are going to discuss what you should know about menstrual cycle. Menstrual cycle is one of the two female reproductive cycles that women of reproductive age experience. The second cycle is known as ovarian cycle. Ovarian cycle refers to series of changes that occur in the ovary, during which a follicle matures, an ovum is released, and corpus luteum is developed. Whereas menstrual cycle occurs in the uterine endometrium. There are so many hormones that stimulate or influence the uh, reproductive cycles. We have the two anterior predatory hormones, which are follicle stimulating hormones, luteinizing hormones, and the other two ovarian hormones known as progesterone and estrogen. The anterior predatory hormones are also known as gonadotropins. What happens here is that at puberty, gonadotropin releasing hormone is released from the hypothalamus to influence the anterior predatory gland to release the gonadotropins, which acts on the ovary to initiate a menstrual cycle. These gonadotropins are follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. The ovarian hormones, which are the progesterone and estrogen, acts on the uterine endometrium to cause the changes that we see during menstrual cycle. So, what is menstrual cycle? Menstrual cycle is cyclical changes that occur in the uterine endometrium of every woman of childbearing age from puberty to menopause every 28 days. Menstrual cycle usually begins at puberty from 12 to 15 years. Sometimes it may start earlier than 12 years or later than 15 years. This menstrual cycle occurs cyclically from the first day to the 28th day of the month and it continues this way throughout the reproductive life of the woman until the woman enters menopause since menstrual cycle occurs in the endometrium of the uterus let's look at the changes that occur in the uterus uterus it's made up of three layers. The outermost layer, known as perimetrum, the middle layer, known as the myometrum, which is the muscular layer, and the innermost layer, known as the endometrium, where the major changes take place. The endometrium is made up of three layers. The basal layer, which is attached to the myometrium. The middle layer, known as the functional layer, which contains so many tubular glands. And the third layer, known as the compact layer, which is the ciliated cuboidal epithelium, covering the functional layer. This ciliated epithelium covers the functional layer and dips to line the glands. During menstrual cycle, it is this endometrium that is affected and the functional layer is always sloughed off along with the compact layer. 
whereas the basal layer is never affected. Menstrual cycle involves three phases the menstrual phase, the proliferative phase, and the secretory phase. Menstrual phase starts from the first day of menstrual cycle to the fifth day of menstrual cycle. This is the period when the woman experiences menstruation. What happens is that the functional and the compact layer along with the tubular gland are sloughed off in form of bloody tissue and flow from the uterus through the vagina. The vaginal bleeding usually lasts for 3 to 5 days on the average. Sometimes it may be up to 7 days. This vaginal bleeding occurs when the functional and the compact layers of the endometrium are shed off along with the unfertilized egg from the uterus through the vagina. At the beginning of this phase, the ovarian hormones, the progesterone and the estrogen are at their lowest levels. At puberty, the first menstruation is known as the menarche. The purpose of menstrual cycle is to prepare the woman's uterus for possible pregnancy each month. Note that at the end of the menstrual phase, the uterine endometrium comprises only the basal layer because the compact and the functional layer have been sloughed off during the menstruation. Now we just talked about the menstrual phase. Let's move on to the second phase, which is the proliferative phase. This follows menstruation and lasts until ovulation, that is, from the sixth to the 14th day of menstrual cycle. The proliferative phase is the second phase of the uterine cycle when the estrogen causes the lining of the endometrium to regrow and thicken throughout the phase. Usually at the end of this phase, ovulation occurs, which is the 14th day of the menstrual cycle. The purpose of this phase is to rebuild the uterus to create a favorable environment for possible implantation of the fertilized egg. During this phase, the endometrium of the uterus comprises three layers, the basal layer, the functional layer, and the compact layer. This means that the endometrium has rebuilt itself to comprise the three layers. At the end of this phase, the functional layer thickens to up to 2.5 mm. In this proliferative phase, both the estrogen and progesterone levels are high, but it is the estrogen that exerts most effects on the endometrium. Now, let's move on to the third phase, which is the secretory phase. The secretory phase begins immediately after ovulation. Ovulation occurs at 14th day of the menstrual cycle, whereas the secretory phase starts from day 15 to day 28 of the menstrual cycle. This phase is under the influence of both progesterone and estrogen, even though the influence of progesterone is higher. At the end of this phase, the functional layer thickens to 3.5 mm and becomes more spongy in appearance because more blood flows to the endometrium to create favorable environment for fertilized ovum to implant. Immediately after ovulation, the ovaries produce more progesterone and estrogen needed by the uterus for possible implantation of the fertilized egg. In this phase, it is the progesterone that makes the uterine endometrium to thicken. The overall goal of this phase is to provide an ideal environment where the fertilized egg can implant and develop. Once ovulation occurs, the empty follicle that is left in the ovary is called corpus luteum. This then releases progesterone in higher amounts and estrogen in lesser amounts. 
once the egg is released and fertilized it stays in the fallopian tube for some time before moving to the uterus it takes three to four days for the fertilized ovum to reach the uterus for implantation however if fertilization does not occur the levels of progesterone and estrogen drop and the corpus luteum degenerates by a process known as luteolysis to form corpus abecans. As a result, menstruation begins again, which marks the beginning of another menstrual cycle, usually after 28 days of the previous one. This continues every 28 days until the woman reaches menopause. Note that the descriptions in this video is based on the 28 days menstrual cycle. The average menstrual cycle is 28 days, but in some women, it can be shorter or longer than 28 days. Generally, the menstrual cycle ranges from 21 days to 35 days in most women. Menstrual phase starts from the first day to the fifth day of the menstrual cycle. And the day the woman sees blood is the first day of the menstrual cycle. The proliferative phase starts from the sixth day to the fourteenth day of the menstrual cycle. The fourteenth day is usually when ovulation occurs. Secretory phase starts from the fifteenth day to the twenty-eighth day of the menstrual cycle. There could be variations from the first day to the 14th day of menstrual cycle, whereas from 15 to 28th day of the menstrual cycle is always constant, irrespective of the length of the woman's menstrual cycle. Ovarian cycle and menstrual cycle are not the same, even though they occur simultaneously. Menstrual cycle occurs in the uterine endometrium, whereas Ovarian cycle occurs in the ovary. Ovarian cycle occurs under the influence of follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone, while menstrual cycle occurs under the influence of progesterone and estrogen. Ovarian cycle has three stages, which are the follicular phase, ovulation, and luteal phase. Whereas the menstrual cycle has menstrual phase proliferative phase and secretory phase. The follicular phase of the ovarian cycle coincides with the menstrual phase and the secretory phase of the menstrual cycle, while the luteal phase of the ovarian cycle coincides with the secretory phase of the menstrual cycle. Thank you for watching our video and don't forget to subscribe.